I wanted to give a brief overview on a combustion turbine power plant or generator. I like, I call them a jet generator. Some guys will say, well, this is designed to be a, a turbine, but if you look at that thing, that jet engine that's made by Pratt & Whitney looks a lot like a jet engine. Now I know there's some differences, but that's the design. So this here, that's the air intake. And then the air feeds down and the jet is right there. And then it, as it's going, if this thing's moving, you'll see the exhaust go right out that stack. Now the way these things start is in here is compressed air. And it uses compressed air to spin it over until it's going. And then once the jet gets up to speed, it can keep itself going and it starts using fuel. This particular one, this is just for emergencies, uh, peaking power when there's a high demand and they need some extra, but this is a black start unit. This can start and go from zero to full load, and I can't remember, but I wanna say it's like three or four minutes. Like this is, this is meant to be able to help get everything back going if there's ever a big problem on the system. Um, but that's how these things work. They're not super efficient. Um, this thing will make about 24 megawatts, I believe. I can't, 22 or 24. And it uses about 100 gallons per hour per megawatt. So when this is running full load, it's using about 2,400 gallons of oil. So if you look over here, these four tanks, those are 20,000 gallons each, and they will not last this unit two days when this thing's going so as soon as as soon as it's going tankers are rolling to keep these things full because it uses a lot of fuel now when this is going the generator actually sits on the other side of the jet and as the jet's spinning it spins the generator which makes power and it sends the power over through this control room and in this control room there's a breaker that can open and close so that the uh, power feeds out through this line and to the transformer that's behind the control room. And then from the transformer, it ups the voltage so that it can go out on the lines. This little box that you see in front of the control room, that's an emergency generator. That generator can run the air compressor, which can charge up the air so that the generator can start even without power. I think the air normally has enough in the tank for two tries, but if for some reason it should fail to start, that generator, even in the absence of power from that propane tank over there, will run and it'll run the compressor to charge it up. So these things are kind of costly, but they're kind of vital, and I just wanted to give you a brief rundown on how they work.